Hey, 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 what's up champions? Gediminas here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. Uh, today's episode is actually 399, so tomorrow is going to be 400th episode. I'm excited about that. That's been 400 days since I went live every single day and I brought you something. Uh, good evening, Margarita. So if you're watching a replay of this, please do me a massive favor and say hashtag replay into the comments. And if you're brand new, tell me new in the comments because I'd love to welcome you to the tribe and say hello. Hey, Vida, thanks for jumping on. And of course, if you do get value, you learn something from this video, feel free to share it because somebody else might get some value too. Uh, and straight after this, uh, video I'm gonna go live on my Instagram at home based business coach where I'm gonna talk about closing I'm gonna give you a six step closing process which will help you to get a decision from anybody who might be interested in your business so if you're interested in that jump over to at a home based business coach on Instagram in just a minute when I finish this um, but I wanted to talk about being busy, right? And why is that important in your network marketing business? Hey, Yana. So when you're prospecting somebody, uh, when do they wanna get the information? They wanna get the information right away, right? So if you prospect somebody on the bus stop, on the airplane or at work or whatever, they go, well, tell me more then. You know, give me more information. I'm curious, right? Tell me. But that's the last thing you want to do, because as you know, first, you shouldn't be presenting yourself anyway. You shouldn't be doing the business presentation. Instead, you should giving, be giving them a tool, right? So you want to prospect people, but you don't want to give them too much information. How do you do that? And one way of doing that is by being busy. Hey, Agleth. Hey, Amar. Thanks for jumping on, guys. So what happens is when you're busy, people ask you less questions. Right. And you can even do what, what Ray Higdon calls BIC or BIC. It stands for break in communication. So because, you know, if you're going to ask somebody, hey, would you be open to earning extra income? What are they going to say? Yeah. How? Tell me more. Right. Because you know that in advance, you can inbuilt a break in communication which will stop them from asking you that question. So how would it sound? Well, let's say um, I'm at the restaurant, right? And I've just finished my meal and uh, you know, a, a waiter has been really amazing. She really served us well. She really looked after us. And I wanna invite her to the business, but I don't want her to go, hey, tell me more about it, right? So what will I do? Well, when, it times, when the time comes for me to leave and the waiter comes up and maybe brings me the change or brings me the check or whatever, I go, hey, I'm about to jump on a conference call, so I can't talk very long. However, you've been awesome, etc., and I would love to invite you to take a look at my business. Now, the chances are she's still going to go, well, what is it? And I go, hey, like I said, I really got, got this conference call that I have to jump in literally in just a minute. But can I send you some info to, to, to your WhatsApp? Can I send you a video to your Facebook? You know what I mean? And now... How could I have known that she will ask, what is it? I couldn't have. So that's why, because I said that I'm going to jump on a conference call, that, that's just an accident, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, right. But because I knew she's going to ask, I said that, right? So it's really powerful because then the person, well, yeah, he said he's got a conference call to jump on. Or yeah, he said he's got somebody waiting. Or yeah, he said he's, he's about to go in a meeting. So yeah, let me ask this. So this works face to face, but it also works on a phone. You can call somebody and, and, and when, when you're on a phone, it's even better when, you, when you're showing that you're busy because it does two things. One thing is that everybody's busy as well. And you know that. So when you're calling somebody nowadays, especially, they look at your name on the phone and they go, oh my God, you know, I don't have time to speak, right? So when they answer their phone and you go, hey, Estella, I'm super busy. I only got a few minutes to talk. Guess what they're thinking? Thank God, because I'm super busy too. Get over with it, right? So they're happy that you say you're super busy. But then also, that prevents them from asking a million questions. So then when you go, hey, I just found this amazing opportunity where, where you and I could possibly make some extra income. Now, I don't know if this is for you or not, but I'm just curious, would you be open if I send you some information? They're not going to go, well, well, tell me more about it then. Because you just told them that you're super busy, you only got a few minutes to talk and you're about to jump somewhere else. You know what I mean? 
So it prevents all the questions and objections and all the other stuff that you don't want to go over before they see the video. You know, once they've seen the presentation, then yes, answer all the questions, etc. Because that shows they're already interested in the business. But before they before they even seen the presentation, them asking, well, how much does it cost to join? What difference does it make how much it costs to join? Maybe you're not going to even like the presentation. So watch the darn video first. You know what I mean? So it really, really empowers you when you are busy. So whenever you're talking to your person, now not the team member, <laughs> don't apply the same thing to your team members that every time your team member calls you go, hey, I'm super busy. What do you want? Right? You don't want to do that to your team, right? But to the prospects, you always need to come up as busy. Think about, let's say you wanted to take your child for piano lessons. And you, and you hear that this is great teacher, right? And you call the teacher and the teacher goes, well, the next available slot I have is in like four weeks. You go, yes, please. Yes, please. Right? Because she's so busy. She's so amazing. Right? But what if you call the same piano teacher and they go, oh yeah, anytime, just drop in. Like I'm, I'm totally free all day long, all every day. What does that tell you? They're probably not that good <laughs> because nobody's using them. You know what I mean? Like restaurants. People do that subconsciously. They don't even know. You know, when they're walking through the high street to choose which restaurant to go to, did you know that most people will go into a restaurant which has more people in it? Why do they do that subconsciously? Because they know it's going to be better. That's why all the people are going to that one, not the empty one. Now, logically, you think, well, the empty one is better because it's quicker service. You know, you'll go there. There's no queue and everything, right? But it just doesn't work like that. So same way you and your business, if you like open all the time, yeah, I've got all the time in the world, right? Then the person thinks, well, they're not that busy. That means nobody's joining their business. You know what I mean? But if you go, hey, you know, I'm super busy, you know, and even if like somebody, you know, you speak to a prospect and, and you go, so when can we talk? And the prospect goes, well, maybe tomorrow at five. Go, yeah, no problem. Can we do 5.15? Because I've got five appointments before yours. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just makes you busy. It just makes you look busy. And when you're busy, people then desire whatever you've got to show. You know what I mean? So that's a tip for today, guys. Just look busy, especially with your prospects. And that will help you to get less questions and move swifty, uh, swiftly through the closing process. So I hope you got some value. If you did, feel free to share it. And like I said, straight after this, I'm jumping live at Home Based Business Coach on Instagram to talk about a six-step closing process, which will help you to get a decision from every single prospect without fail. Okay, guys, have a great evening. I'll see you at the top. Bye for now.